I definitely have to go back to the range because I'm all my bad habits are coming back out <laughs> but I'm just enjoying myself out here right now and it is a little bit odd trying to not fight the fade when I'm just so used to hitting a draw so it is very different but I don't know even with the fades though I feel like it's just I'm not trying to hit a fade it just fades naturally but it's it's like trying to allow it to fade but also at the same time knowing that the straight shot is the more solid shot and it's like trying to find the balance between knowing when to just let it fade and knowing when I should hit it a little bit harder because that's the tendency when I try to hit it a little bit harder is when I actually hit it straighter so yeah it's just a little bit of timing a little bit of rhythm a little bit of lack of practice but it's okay we'll get through this <laughs> Down slopes are probably one of the hardest shots to hit. My advice is, number one, always remember when you're on a slope, you need to follow the slope and not go against it. But also remember that when, with a shot like that, it's just gonna come out really low, especially in that situation. I was hitting a five iron, which in general is really a longer iron, so obviously it's not gonna come out very high. But when it's gonna come out lower, you, you can take more club because as I said, it's gonna come out lower, so it's not gonna carry as far. But just remember that chances are it's going to roll out a lot. So depending on your situation of the green and how much space you have, plan to play for a rolling ball. So don't plan to hit one that's going to carry to the pin like normally, you know, obviously, because then you're going to go way over. But just make sure that if you're landing it in an area that you can have space to roll, that will be the best for the situation. And just let the ball roll. Don't force it. Don't try to hit it high. Just let it hit low. Let it roll. Let it do its own thing. If you're lucky, you hit a good shot. If you're not, at least you did what you could with the situation. It's not an easy shot. so unlucky almost a perfect shot just literally was like about to roll obviously with a low shot and just got stuck but pretty good execution basically i could either have hit a major cut or a hook and obviously being a draw player hook is a lot easier for me so that's no brainer i would definitely go for the hook over the cut anytime so you really have to decide. Obviously the other option would have been to chip out, but we really have to see in situations like this when you're not in a good lie, what it's gonna give you the best percentage, but also what you feel the most comfortable with. I know that if I want to go for the green, I need to get it forward and not sideways because if I go sideways, I am definitely laying up. Um, for the third shot there, I had 
less than 200 to the green obviously it's uphill but it's definitely accessible unfortunately i was in the rough so i kind of went under it so it didn't go very far but just getting forward just now gave me a chance to go for the green in three and now i'm short but you know it's not a bad place to be versus if i had to go backwards hit a third shot i would definitely be going for four on like not even a chance to get three on so that's why i decided to go through the th through the trees and take the risky route but it really depends again as i said on your confidence with the shot and the ability to pull it off I thought that was a good shot but I tried to be safe and I'm a bit too safe but <laughs> it's a par 5 layup hole anyway so it doesn't make a difference. I'm um, just a little bit further than I would like to be. So because I'm in the rough, I have that tree on the right side so I can't really hit it above it because from the rough it's obviously not going to go as high but also because my lie is a bit uphill it's not going to be able to fade that much so I'm hitting a shorter club just to make sure that if I do hit it left it's not going to be too far left that it's going to reach the car path. So it's very important to make sure that if you're laying up, you're laying up in a good spot and not getting yourself in more trouble. People also talk a lot about course management but I think sometimes people forget that course management is something that needs to be able to adapt to different days, different situations. In the last few rounds, I've been teeing off with a driver here because I've been hitting my driver pretty good. Obviously, after the break, I'm having a little bit of struggles. I'm getting there but it just doesn't feel as comfortable and because of the miss being a fade and the right side being a hazard here and me not being able to aim left with a driver here, it doesn't make sense for me to hit a driver today. So I hit a 3-wood knowing that if anything, I can aim more left, I don't have to go to the narrow part of the fairway. But again, as I said, course management changes every single day. It's not something where you map out the course once and then play the course the, entire, the same way every single time. You need to learn to adapt it to your game, to the conditions and things like that.
In. Whoa, in. Wow, oh. in. Jen, wow. what's in? It's a par. Wow, <laughs> what a par. <laughs> perfect representation of how golf is not perfect, can never be perfect, but you never know what's going to happen. Just never give up. Keep trucking along and see what happens when the ball goes in the hole. Then you're done. If not, you're not done. So never give up. Do your best. You never know what could happen. So that's it for today's episode of golf with jen i hope you guys didn't mind this chill vlog it really was just a representation of how golf is not perfect and i think that it's important for everybody to realize that after a month don't expect to hit perfect shots all the time whatever you need to do just get the ball in the hole and that's all that matters it doesn't matter how it looks the scorecard doesn't have pictures although mine does but you guys don't all you have to do is try and get it in the hole in as few shots as possible Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an episode of Golf with Jen.